Hello and welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name's Caitlin and I'm the owner and maker behind Little Woman Creations. Today is episode 12 of the Market Vlogs. I will be attending the Milwaukee Admirals 414 Celebration Day. Uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin is in the area code 414. So April 14th is a really fun day for us Milwaukeeans. I'm attending through Milwaukee Makers Market and they're the ones that are hosting it and kind of doing this in conjunction with the Admirals. So that's why it's in the afternoon. Um, it's currently about 410. Setup is between 4.30 and 5.30 and people can start coming in at 6 right away. So it's going to be a really quick time getting there. I hope I can find parking. Um, you also joined me in my brand new car, new to me. I did decide to get rid of my previous Prius, which I loved Perry so much, but this car has an actual functioning trunk, it's a little smaller, um, and it's electric, so I don't have to pay for gas anymore, and I'm really excited about that. Not the point of this video, though. Let's get going into this market, guys. Alright, so I just parked. The event is actually about a block away. Um, it's this building right here. So... I am going to load my cart. I do not have to bring a table and chairs, which is really nice. Um, they provide an eight foot table actually, which is even better. Because of that, I did not bring my brown foldable shelf. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Lost my mid throat. Um, so I should be able to get everything over in one cart. I only have my three bins. I have some extra stuff that I need to bring in, um, but we're gonna get loaded up. We're gonna head over there and hopefully it's smooth getting in there. I don't know, this is my first time doing an event with the Milwaukee Admirals and I'm not really sure how it's gonna go. May 21st um, and if you recall this market was April 14th so it's been over a month since I have done this market and let's talk about it now um, honestly it it was an okay market um, it was only $20 to set up I spent another maybe $15 on some drinks and some food and I sold a total of $168. So it was not a big profit margin, but I will go over what I sold, kind of what didn't sell, what I think the reasoning for it was. So you could see in the videos before this one that where we were set up, there were 10 of us vendors and it was just kind of a U shape. There were five vendors up a level so it was split into two different levels and I think the bottom level is just very it's it's not as trafficked so my dad and my boyfriend came to the game and they didn't even realize that the bottom level was open to the public they thought it was for people with like special seats or um, for event seating that kind of stuff so I think that was a big thing because I heard some of the vendors upstairs had like a really good day and a really good market, which is great. Uh, because it was a hockey game, um, if you've never been to a hockey game, it's split into three periods. And each period, I believe the NHL, uh, this was an AHL, so it's like a minor league team. And I think it's 15 minute periods with no, excuse me, it's 13 minute periods with 15 minutes in between. So we were set up right as doors opened at six o'clock, puck drop was seven o'clock, and that was about an hour then for people to come in and shop 
So that was great. And you can see that in my sales between, um, I sold between five to six to seven. Um, so there were people that were already in there, um, but my first sale was at 5 p.m. And sorry, that's when I opened Square. So I opened Square at around five. Um, my first sales were at six. At that point, I had sold a whale plush, my little small ones. I sold a bee and a water bottle bag. So it was seeming like it would be pretty good. When the game started at seven, um, I did have one more sale, two, three more sales actually. I had one of my scrappy bags, which is the brown neutral one that I made for the D stash market. Uh, if you want to check that video out, I will link it up above. Um, so a scrappy bag, and then I had two, no, 18 divided by six is three. And then I had three more whale plushes sell. So again, it seemed like it was going really well. After that, it really plateaued. After seven, I sold a few more items. Prominently, the big ones were my eggplants. So these were a new market item that I had. I made them during Koozie Crafts um, March Crochet Challenge. And I sold a winking one and a like just regular smile one. Other than that, a couple of items that I sold uh, that weren't like on the top list, I did sell some foods. Um, I have a little, I had a little menu set up, which I thought was really cute. So there were the eggplants, the carrots, the blueberries that sold for that. I also actually sold two, three bucket hats for the dogs. Um, they were all the small ones, so like the cheaper ones, but that's fine. Only one bee. Um, other than that, I did sell a heart plush, it was a little one, and a small octopus. So it really wasn't that much in sales. Like I said, in total it was $168. Let me go and see for the actual like sales report, I collected $29 in cash. I do know that I did get a tip in cash, but that isn't counted in square. And I think it was another $14 in cash. Uh, anyway. Based on Square reports, it was $29 in cash. It was $105 in card. And then it was $34 for Venmo. Um, Square gives you the option to enter a other payment. And when you do that, you just like put in the notes what it is. So it says other on Square, but if I open up the actual page for it in the desktop, it'll say Venmo in the comments. So the fees in total from Square were $3.53, coming to a net total of $164.47. I don't know if I would do this market again, just because it was like stressful trying to get there um, right after work. I had to make sure my car was packed that morning. If I had any last minute market prep, I like wasn't able to do it. But it was still a great time. My dad and my boyfriend enjoyed the game. It went into overtime. It was a really good game. So that helped a lot. Uh, besides that, yeah, it was it was okay for sales. It isn't my worst market. When I was first starting out, if I made $100, that was exciting. And so it's kind of crazy to see how much my markets have grown. Very, It's very humbling, <laughs> to say the least. Thank you so much for watching today's market vlog. Let me know in the comments down below. Is there something that you liked about my setup? Something you would have been dif done differently? This one was really nice because I just walked in and the table and chairs were already there. I didn't have to bring that. I was able to bring all my stuff on one card, which was great. Um, but yeah, thanks again so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you are into market vlogs, crocheting, fiber arts, that kind of stuff. We'd love to have you here in the LWC clan. And until next time, bye! Thank you.